Welcome back friends, we are building the card game war for the Ybyte Python curriculum available at www.ybyte.in. In the previous video we saw how our player and computer pull out one card and throw it on the table pile. In this video we are going to see how we are going to check for a winner and look for the case where we have a clear winner which means one card is more than the other card. Now the idea to do this winner is actually quite simple, you know we are going to ignore the suit like we discussed earlier. Uh, which means that we are going to have to look at the second character of the player card. Remember, player card and computer card are both strings with two characters. We are going to compare player card 1 with computer card 1, but then that is a little bit pr problematic too because we are going to have to compare strings like 1, 2, 3, 4 against, let's say, A, B, C, X, and so on and so forth. It's kind of not so logical as to what is bigger, what is smaller. However, you know, we, uh, you know, we have a better solution at hand because remember all these cards in fact came from a list called cards which means that we can actually just look at the index of this uh, you know of these items in that list cards and the reason for that is because we had arranged these cards in an ascending order so from lower to higher and you know uh, really uh, this can come to our benefit and we can just check the index which means kind of like the item number of this card inside the list cards and, and that's really what we are going to do uh, you know, it becomes very clear when you code this thing and that's what I'm going to do next. So I come in here, notice my list cards, you know, has all the cards and you know, that clearly, for example, cards uh, dot index, for example, you know, x uh, is say 8, whereas cards dot index, say for example, j is 9. So I know j is more than x and that's really the whole idea. So remember, uh, you know, I, I basically add both of these to my you know, my table cards, put the cards here. Now I make a check. I say, okay, look, if cards dot, let's say index, you know, card say C, uh, actually let's I look at card P1. Remember I'm looking at one because I'm interested in the, only the number, not the, the suit itself, right? So if this is say more than cards dot index, say card underscore C, one uh, so which means the player has won the, the the particular round and you know um so if this happens then we say okay look we print this say player you know let's just put this player say wins now in this case remember both the cards must come to the player pile and the way we do that is you know so first i'm going to put a small uh, i'm going to put an input here because i get like you know this allows me to see what's going on Later on, I can replace this input with like a time dot sleep. But now I input because that kind of holds the execution, makes me sort of understand what's going on. So I say I'm going to bring in both the cards from the table cards to the player cards. So I just go and say player cards dot extend, let's say table cards. Now we'll talk about this extend in a while, but the whole idea is that it'll take both the cards from the table cards. Now in this case, there are two cards, or it could be more. It's going to take all the cards from the table cards and put it at the end of the player cards. And we'll see this in, 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 uh, in action a little bit later. Now, once I've done this, I must remove all items from my table card. So I'm going to say table cards dot clear. And, and this is basically a, rep a representation of the fact that, you know, look, once the table cards have been put back into the player cards, then obviously there's nothing left on the table and hence the list table cards must be cleared. Now, in this case, the move indeed has completed. So I say move complete is say, true. And, you know, I will also keep track of moves played. So I think I need to define a variable up here. I'm just going to say, for example, let's say moves, uh, you know, played. Uh, played is, let's say, zero is to start with. Now, once this happens, I can just say moves, you know, played um, is equal to say moves played plus one. Of course, I can do it more concisely by saying plus equals to one. Uh, and that's okay, right? So, you know, this is fine. Now, this alone will take care of the situation where the player wins, but we have a very similar condition for the computer winning. So I come in here and I paste this thing and I put this inside an elif because I want this to go in exactly one of these situations. And, you know, it will like, go in one of these. Here, I just reverse the sign of this. So now I say, look, if my computer card is bigger than the player card, notice the list less than here. I say in this situation, computer has won. So I say computer uh, say wins. And instead of player cards, uh, I will add the table cards to the computer cards. And that's logical because now the computer gets both the cards. So I say compute, ca compute uh, you know, underscore cards, extend table cards. 
and again i clear up the table cards and again the move complete is true and moves played is becomes more than one so let's just see this one move in action because this is quite illustrative uh, of course right now we have not talked about a situation where both of these cards are equal so if that happens you know we'll have to just play the game again right now because remember my game right now will just get over in one move because of this statement but that's okay so i come in here i say okay look in this case my player card was you know king of spade my computer card was 10 of diamonds clearly king of spades is bigger than 10 of diamond well because king is bigger than uh, you know uh, king is bigger than 10 so you know i say player has won and i have put an input statement here which is holding the execution that actually makes it easier for me i say you know i entered this now notice what has happened if i look at my player cards right now i have got sk and dx so i can just make this a little bigger sk and dx have come to the very end of the player cards if i look at my table you know table cards that has become empty because i have used the clear statement and that's kind of logical because both the cards have been put back at the player cards if i look at my compute cards you know that is a li length a list which is smaller so if i and the reason it's smaller is because both the cards have been put back to the player card so if i look at the you know uh, and basically the computer card previously has ended up also in the player stack it's all logical so if i say length of say player cards that is 27 length of say compute cards is 25 because the player card is effectively a player has effectively you know kind of taken the card from the computer and attached to its part all right so let's just do this again this time round computer wins because my computer is throwing a queen of spade my player is throwing a two of diamond now the d and s doesn't matter in this case queen is definitely bigger than two and hence i say computer has one now when i run this notice the compute you know cards is oh sorry that's so notice compute cards is has basically got the d2 and sq in the end table cards now is an empty string uh, i mean empty list and my you know uh, my player cards so you know my player cards is shorter than the compute cards in fact if i look at the length of compute say compute um, you know cards that is 27 my length of player cards is say uh, you know is say 25 so, and that's logical because effectively the player card has gone from player to the computer through this whole process the, and notice also that we are setting the move complete to true because in this situation the move is indeed complete right here now before i wrap this up i just want to make a couple of points first thing first notice that we are using extend over here because for both player cards and computer cards we are adding multiple values and from the table cards now table cards will be at least two because you know in like in this situation both have contributed one card each but table cards actually could be longer in case of a war but both in, in either case we are adding multiple values to the list and hence we use extend we'll talk about append versus extend in a separate video also notice i have cleared up the table cards by using the clear function which can in fact also be done by a reassignment so we'll talk about this in just a moment but a little bit of compare and contrast will help clear statement is really like delete all from a list we have seen this many times in scratch for example every time we start anything we used to say delete all of this and this is exactly same as table cards so clear but like i said we could have also done table cards equals to let's say an empty statement uh, which is basically reassigning the whole list now i hope this is all clear uh, this is making sense the whole game is building up if you find that this way of learning by building activities that are fun is interesting it makes you understand things better look at our website www.yby.in because we learn python programming through such fun activities take care thank you so much bye bye